It's a sight we don't want to see. Football players getting hit hard on the head. Vanderbilt engineering student Doug Brown knows how that feels. He got a concussion playing football in high school. I really don't remember much from it. Um, I got knocked out pretty good. It was scary. Um, don't a lot of short-term memory loss. Um, I think I got everything back as far as I know. For Doug, it was a short-lived head injury, but studies show as many as 10 high school athletes a year get subdural hemorrhages on the brain. In the past 40 years, more than half of the fatalities in football were from subdural hemorrhages. Doug's design team believes the blood vessel hemorrhage is caused by rotational acceleration. A sudden impact knocks the head back, rotating on the spine, and straining the blood vessels, often causing them to rupture or hemorrhage. The basis of this design is we have your, uh, I guess, a typical, typical set of shoulder pads. The student team working with a neurosurgeon at Vanderbilt University Medical Center focused on trying to minimize the force of rotational acceleration. They attached three spring-loaded dampers to shoulder pads and a modified neck butterfly collar. The students say the dampers help resist collision acceleration, keeping the force of impact below the danger acceleration threshold. The students created a computer simulated model of the effects of their helmet system to show the peak acceleration reached. And we found that when we, were, when we subtracted that force that the new rotational accelerations that were achieved stay below the threshold for both college and professional athletes. And that's something that's really, really exciting to us. And that has definite potential as far as reducing rotational acceleration, as far as evening out the process um, evening out the, I guess, the peak values and limiting subdural hemorrhage. The next step is to test the design in a football equipment lab. If he was still playing high school football, Doug says he would like a device like theirs. Especially if it's proven to be potentially life-saving, um, would definitely uh, be something that I think I would wear and I think a lot of other people would wear if they were to play the game. Coming in from the right is going to be Ike Taylor, helmet to helmet. The hope is another Vanderbilt design team will continue their work to help prevent tragedy on the field. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.